I'm just about to go and pick up my mother and go Christmas shopping with her. It's great, you know, we've been in um, America, Rob and I have been in America for the last three months. So we just got back and it's great catching up the family again. And looking forward to going shopping, I think it's going to be busy. And uh, But she's got a 20% off voucher for Marks and Spencer's, so um, that'll be fun. <laughs> anyway, I just want to show you some of the clips from some of the stuff that we did when we were in America over the last three months. Some amazing things happened. We had a great time. God really spoke to us. So I hope you enjoy this. So we were in the Carolinas and we drove down to Florida just the day after the hurricane hit. It took us 15 hours, but I wanted to be down there with my family for my 50th birthday. We had a wonderful time. And then I ended up um, talking to a family who, they, they really were suffering a lot. So the, they all, the mother and the two teenage children had migraine headaches, they had um, chronic fatigue, and the mother also had osteoarthritis and lupus and um, something else as well, and she was in a really bad way. Anyway, I told, I told them about Jesus and about how evil spirits were causing their problems. So they just, we all stood together and held hands and they gave their lives to Jesus. They asked the Holy Spirit to come in. They told the evil spirits to leave, which they did. And all the pain left them and it was just amazing. And there was another teenager there as well. And she joined in with us. And a couple of days later, she told me that an evil being had been watching her. She was only 13, but this evil being had been watching her for years, day and night. And as soon as she gave her life to Jesus and told the evil spirits to leave her, that it left. And so it was amazing just to have nothing evil, no evil presence with her. So that was wonderful. And then we, we went back up to um, the Carolinas and we did a workshop. So here's some clips from the workshop. So your retina in the right eye, was it? Was detached, had surgery, it kept detaching. So five surgeries later, you just got prayed for by this lady here. And what happened? I can see clearer than I can see. Wow. This woman shares how she just got a word of knowledge for the first time. Well, I, I saw a picture of a hex, hexagon, yeah. like a stop sign shape, and it was it just was blank. It was a it was just a shape. And then the next thing I saw was the word stop, but it was outside of the shape. Well, he showed me that the the hexagon with the stop sign shape, blank shape that I saw was not really a shape, it was a curse. It was a hex. It was a hex. Oh. And then the stop that was outside of the hex was the Lord saying to stop, no more. Like, yeah. that Two women had never done a miracle before, so they pray for the disabled woman. Go, spirit of pain, spirit of arthritis, go now in Jesus' name. How's that now? I can't lift my leg. I my Now she can touch her toes, all the pain has gone, and she can walk. How you walk now? How you stand it straight? Right. <laughs> First time you've ever got a word of knowledge and you're giving it in public. <laughs> First time you've ever felt the power of God like that. First time you've felt faith like that. But it, you can't just wait for it to happen. You had to get off your backside. You had to come out in fear and trembling. And I do that all the time. And people think it's because I'm brave and I just, that's my personality. I'm an introvert. So I make myself do this all the time because I want to see God's love demonstrated all over the earth. So, and we're an army together. We're doing it together. It's not like we know it all and you know, like you know a lot more than we know. But we're learning together. And it's so exciting to be part of all this. And it's so wonderful just to see what God's doing in your life, in your life, and all your lives. And Lord, we just bless you and what you're doing with these people. And let's hope it leads to you.